Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to create friendship bracelets using different designs. I will show you how to create the friendship bracelets loops and uh, also how to make the ties of your friendship bracelets. And I will uh, show you step by step how to order the yarns, how to create the forward, the backward knots and how to uh, make the different designs of the bracelets. So let's uh, see now how to create the first bracelet. Uh, now I will show you how to create a um, leaf uh, friendship bracelet. Um, I will use these cords. Um, so they have a length of about 70 centimeters, that is 28 inches. Um, and I will use these five colors. And I will begin by making the loop. So the loop should be uh, at this middle point. Uh, I will establish from where to where the um, loop should uh, be and I will start twisting the area where I want my loop to be. So I will twist those yarns. And I will superpose the yarns so that they twist around each other and I will make a knot like this so as you can see the left side mirrors the right side and I will begin by making the first knot. I will take the two yarns, the first yarns, the uh, dark purple yarns, and I will make two forward knots. In order to make forward knots, I will create the shape of the number four. I'll put my finger under this yarn and I'll grab with my nail the other yarn, take it out through this loop and I will make one and the second forward knot. And I will bring the yarns here in the middle. Now I will take the uh, next yarns and I will create a forward knot on the left yarn and another forward knot and I have brought the light purple yarn in the middle whereas on the right side I will make backward knots. To make the backward knot I will create the number 4 but in the mirror I'll put my finger under the dark cord grab the lighter cord with my nail and take it out through the loop. So this is my first backward knot and then I will make a second backward knot. And now I have brought the two light purple yarns into the middle and here I will make two forward knots. One and the second. Like this. 
and now I have brought the purple yarns into the middle. Now I will take the pink yarns and I will create forward knots on the dark purple yarn and then on the light purple yarn. So one forward knot, the second forward knot, and on the light purple yarn one forward knot and the second forward knot. And I brought the dark pink quad to the middle and now I will take the other dark pink cord and I will make one backward knot and the second backward knot as you can see the uh, dark pink yarn moved from here it moved backwards here by making the backward knot and again I will make two backward knots on the light purple yarn and the yarn will go backwards and reach this place in the middle of the bracelet. And again I will make two forward knots, one and two, this way. Now I will take the <coughs> pink uh, yarn, the light pink yarn, and I will make one forward knot, the second forward knot, one forward knot, the second forward knot, one forward knot, the second forward knot, and I brought the light pink yarn in the middle and now I will make backward knots one backward knot the second backward knot one backward knot the second backward knot and one backward knot and the second backward knot and I have brought the two light pink yarns in the middle and I will make one forward knot and the second forward knot this way and now I will take the white yarn and make forward knots on all the cords on the left. So one forward knot, the second forward knot, one forward knot, the second forward knot. So one detail that I want to mention is that um, you should be always attentive that your yarns are properly ordered because if they are not arranged in order and they get mixed up the design of your bracelet will also get mixed up let's take the dark pink yarn and make one forward knot two forward knots and the light pink yarn one forward knot and two forward knot now I brought the white yarn into the middle and now I will make backward knots on the r r yarns on the right side so one backward knot the second backward knot one backward knot the second backward knot
also brought the second white yarn into the middle and I will make one forward knot and the second forward knot and I have created the first part of my leaf as you can see this is the leaf and now let's continue so the middle of the leaf has the dark purple color here so now I will use the white knot here as the start of the next leaf and I will create one forward knot the second forward knot with the light pink yarn and with the other light pink yarn one backward knot and the second backward knot this way and now I have brought the pink yarns into the middle and I will create one forward knot and the second forward knot this way and now let's <coughs> use the dark pink yarn I'll make one forward knot the second forward knot and I brought the pink yarn into the middle let's see from a closer distance what it looks like so as you can see there is a bit of cord here that is not that does not have knots so this cord will make the link between the white knot and the pink knot here let's do the same steps on the right so I will make one backward knot and the second backward knot and one backward knot and the second backward knot and in the middle I will make one forward knot and the second forward knot this way now let's continue with the purple yarn I will make one knot forward knot and the second forward knot one forward knot and the second forward knot and one forward knot and the second forward knot so again let's look from a closer distance as you can see this bit of yarn here makes the link between the white knots and the light purple knots so you see there are no knots on this area of my yarn. Let's also make the knots on the right side. So one backward knot. Another backward knot. one 
one backward knot, another backward knot, and one backward knot. and the second backward knot now I have brought the dark purple yarns in the middle and I will create one forward knot and a second forward knot this way And let's do the same steps with the last yarn, with the dark purple yarn. So I will make one forward knot. And the second forward knot. One forward knot. and the, the second forward knot one forward knot and the second forward knot and one forward knot and the second forward knot this and the same on the right so one backward knot and the second backward knot one backward knot and the second backward knot one backward knot and the second backward knot and one backward knot and the second backward knot and one forward knot and the second forward knot And the first part of my pattern is ready and I will continue doing the same steps from here on until I obtain the desired length of my bracelet and then I will show you how to create the bracelet tie And now that I have finished the bracelet, I will make the bracelet tie. Uh, to make the bracelet tie, I will need to separate the yarns. And I will start twisting um, the yarns to the left. So first of all, I have separated them on two groups and then each group was separated uh, in other two groups of yarns so I will create two ties and with these two ties I will be able to close the bracelet so I will twist the 
these yarns. And I will also twist the <coughs> purple yarns also to the left. So I twisted these yarns to the left, I twist these yarns to the left as well. And then I will twist them one around the other, these two ties, uh, but to the right. So if I have twisted the separate yarns to the left, when I twist the two yarns around one another, I will twist them to the right. Now they are both twisted and I will twist them around one another and to the right. And now that I have twisted to the right the yarns one around the other, I will make a knot at the end of those yarns. this way and I will do the same thing with these yarns so I will twist them to the left And now I will twist the one around the other, but to the right. Now I will also make a knot at the end of these yarns. And now I have created the ties, I will cut the end of the ties and the bracelet is ready. So as you can see this is what the bracelet looks like. I will open and twist this end here. I will put the tie through this loop. As you can see the loop ties itself back, twists itself back again. And now I will make a knot here and the bracelet is ready. So this is the finished bracelet. And this is what the bracelet looks like on the wrist. Hello and welcome to this video. In this video I will show you how to create a friendship bracelet using these yarns. So I will use four uh, pink yarns and two green yarns 
turquoise yarns. And in order to make the bracelet, I will use uh, yarns that are from this point to the, this point, about 70 centimeters long. 70 75 centimeters long and um, at this end I will create the loop of the bracelet so I will establish the length of the loop and I will take the yarns and start twisting them on the length of the loop like this and then I will grab the two uh, ends of the yarns the two ends of the loop and I will start twisting them around one another and I have created the loop of my bracelet and now I'll make a knot I have put um, the turquoise yarns on the margins to create the borders whereas the pink yarns are in the middle and I will create by, uh, start by creating a um, forward and a backward knot with the turquoise yarns so a forward and a backward knot so as you can see the backward knot looks like the number 4 in the mirror whereas the forward knot is the number 4 I will put my finger under the pink yarn grab the green yarn take it out through this loop and I tighten the knot so I have created the first knot of the border now I will create the second border knot so I will make a green a turquoise border and um, I will make a backward knot so the number four in the mirror I put my finger under the pink cord grab with my nail the green cord the turquoise cord take the yarn out through the loop and make the backward knot and now I will make the forward knot so the shape of the number four I will put my finger under the pink cord like this I grab the green cord like this and make the knot this way and my border yarns remain on the margins and now with these yarns I will start making forward knots on this side so one forward knot then I make the shape of the number four I make the second forward knot to create a pink chevron Whereas with this, uh, on this other side I will make a backward knot, so the number 4 in the mirror. And I will make one backward knot and the second backward knot. This way. I have brought the pink cords from here to here, to the middle and here I am going to make two forward knots so the number four like this I'll make one knot I'll make the number four like this the second knot and I have created a pink shovel again I will create the margin, the green margin, so a forward knot, the number 4 like this 
I take the green yarn out through the loop like this, one, and the backward knot. So uh, the four in the mirror, and I take the yarn out through this loop like this, and I have created the backward knot. Now I will create the second border, green border. I will make a backward knot like this. And a forward knot. This way. And I keep the yarn on the margin again, the green yarn. And now I will make another chevron. I will make one and two forward knots like this. And with this other yarn, one and two backward knots. And in the middle, I will make one forward knot. So I have created two forward knots to close the chevron. And now again I will make one forward knot and one backward knot. with the green yarn to create the margin. One backward knot and one forward knot to make the other margin like this. Now I will continue making a pink chevron so I'll make one and two forward knots then one and two backward knots and in the middle again two forward knots one and two like this. And now I will create a green chevron, a turquoise chevron. I will make one and two forward knots. So this time I am not putting, li leaving the green yarn on the outside. I am bringing it in the inside here. On the next yarn I will make one and two forward knots and as you can see suddenly my um, green yarn is in the middle so we are going to make a green chevron so I take the second yarn and I make one backward knot two backward knots two backward knots one backward knot two backward knot I've brought both green uh, turquoise yarns into the middle and now I will make two forward knots, one forward knot and the second forward knot like this And with the pink yarns I will make 
a forward knot. and a backward knot. Also with these two pink yarns I will make a backward knot, so the four in the mirror. forward knot. Like this. So I kept the pink cords on the margins. And now let's bring the green cords on the margin again. So I will make one backward knot the second backward knot on the first pink yarn and one backward knot and the second backward knot on the second pink yarn and as you can see my green cords are again on the margin and let's do the same on this other side. So I will make one forward knot, so the four, the number four like this, one forward knot on the first pink cord and the second forward knot and on the second yarn, pink yarn, one forward knot and the second forward knot. And again, my turquoise yarns are on the outside of the bracelet. Now I will take the two yarns in the middle and I will create a backward knot. and a second backward knot this way and I will take the outside pink yarn and create one forward knot another forward knot this way and with this other yarn I'll create one backward knot and another backward knot and here in the middle I will make one forward knot and another forward knot So, as you can see here, I have created a little diamond. Now again, I will take the outside green yarn. I'll make one forward knot, one backward knot, and I'll keep the green yarn on the outside. On this other side, I make one backward knot one forward and a forward knot to keep the turquoise yarn on the outside like this. So again my turquoise cords are on the outside. 
I will continue by making another forward knot and a second forward knot to create the next chevron, pink chevron. I will make one backward knot and the second backward knot. this in order to make the chevron tip I will make one forward knot with the middle cords and a second forward knot this way again I will make one forward knot with the green cord and one backward knot on the other outer cord I will make a backward knot and a forward knot again my green cord has remained on the outside and I will make on the pink cord one and two forward knots then one backward knot and a second backward knot here I brought the two pink cords into the middle and to close the chevron I take these two pink cords and make one forward knot and the second forward knot and I have created the tip of the third chevron. So I have a chev one chevron, two chevrons, three chevrons with a little knot here, up here, because uh, I formed first of all a diamond here. And now I will again create a cross with the green cord. So I will first make a chevron and then an inverted chevron. So I will make one forward knot and this time because I want to bring the green cord into the middle I will make a second forward knot. I will not make a backward knot to bring the cord back. I will make a forward knot to bring the cord to the middle. So bring it forward. So I, had, I have two forward knots here. I'll take the next yarn and I make two forward knots, one forward knot two forward knots and I brought the green cord into the middle here to create a chevron and now I will make one backward knot here and in order to bring the cord into the middle here I will move it backwards so I will create instead of a forward knot I'll create a backward knot if I made a forward knot I would bring the cord back outside but if I make a backward knot like this, a second backward knot I bring the cord towards the inside of the bracelet I take the next cord and I make one backward knot and the second backward knot like this, I brought both my green cords in the on the inside and now I will make one forward knot and a second forward knot so I created the green chevron as you can see and now let's create the two small dots here with the pink cords so I will make I will take the outside pink cord and I will make one forward knot 
like this and then I will make a backward knot. So I will take the other cord, I will make one backward knot and one forward knot. And now, in order to bring the green cords on the outside, I will make an inverted chevron. So I will make backward knots on this side and forward knots on this side. So I'll make one backward knot, two backward knots, on the first pink cord, then on the second pink cord one backward knot, the second backward knot, and again my green cord is on the outside here. And now let's take the second green cord, I will make forward knots, one forward knot, two forward knots, now I brought the green cord from this place to this place, I take the next cord, I make one forward knot, the second forward knot, and I brought the cord here. And as you can see, my green cords are again on the outside. And now we shall create a structure similar to the previous one. following the same steps that I have followed making this piece of bracelet. So let's continue and once I have reached the desired length of my bracelet so that it goes around my wrist, I will show you how to create the tie of the bracelet. And now that I have finished the bracelet, I will create the bracelet tie. I will take the yarns and braid them and at the end of the braiding I will make a knot I also braid the other tie I will cut the yarns and now the bracelet is ready and let's see what our bracelet looks like. So this is the finished bracelet. And uh, in order to close the bracelet, I will open the twisted loop here, like this. I will take the tie, put it through the loop this way, and you will see that the twisted part will close again. And I can close the tie this way, so that it does not open. So this is the finished bracelet. And this is what it looks like on the wrist. Hello and welcome to this um, video. In this video I will show you how to create a friendship bracelet using two colors. I chose blue and a red. And um, I will create some parallel stripes for this bracelet. So as you can see for the lateral stripes I have added about 25 centi <laughs> centimeters of uh, yarn. 
whereas for the rest of the chords just a second <laughs> I must open the door now I let the cat out and uh, now we can continue so uh, where were we? Uh, now the length of the yarns of the blue yarns is about um, 70 centimeters it is about 28 uh, inches 70 to 75 centimeters and now I will create the loop so the loop will be um, in this area here so in order to create the loop I will take the yarns and I would start twisting them on the portion that I want to be turned into a loop so I will twist them the yarns together and now I will superpose the two twisted parts and as you can see we have this portion of twisted yarns that I will use as a loop. Now at the basis of this twisted portion I will create a knot, an overhand knot like this and now I have created the <coughs> loop of the bracelet. So I will be able to open and to close this loop like this. So this will be the loop portion of my bracelet. And now let's start braiding. Creating the bracelet. In order to make the bracelet, I will put the, I will grab my yarns and put them in a specific order. <clears throat> so on the sides, I will have the red lines and in the middle, I will have a thicker stripe of blue. So I will use these four cords for the inner, for the middle stripe of blue and <clears throat> the red cords for the outer lines, thinner lines of red. And now I will start by creating the first outer line. I will make a forward knot, so I will create the shape of the number four. I will put my finger under the blue yarn, take the red yarn out through this loop and <coughs> tighten the first knot and now as you can see by creating a forward knot my yarn moved from the outside to the inside here and in order to bring the yarn back so that we have a straight line on the edge of my of the bracelet I will make a backward knot. So the backward knot will bring the yarn back to this position here on the outside where we want the yarn to remain. So I will make the backward knot by creating the inverted uh, shape of the number 4 like this, so the 4 in the mirror. I will put my finger under the blue yarn, grab the red yarn, take it out through this loop and I will close, tighten this knot. And as you can see by making the backward knot the yarn went backward from here to here, to the outside. And now let's create the inner stripe, the blue stripe. To create the blue stripe I will make forward knots. So I'll make the shape of the number 4, I put my finger under the blue cord, grab the other blue cord, take it out through the loop and create the first forward knot. Again I make the number 4, create the second forward knot, I take the next yarn, I make one forward knot, 
the second forward knot, one forward knot, the second forward knot, and now by making forward knots, my yarn has moved from here to here, so it went forward and reach this place here and now in order to create the <coughs> red line on the outside of my bracelet I will create a backward knot I'll create the shape of the number four in the mirror I will put my finger under the blue cord I will grab the red cord and take it out through this loop like this I make one backward knot and then I will make so and by the back create the creation of the backward knot my yarn went backward from the outside place to this place on the other side of my blue yarn so on the inside so it went back and now I want to bring it um, forward to the initial position on the right on the outside of the uh, bracelet so I will make a forward knot so that it moves forward I will grab, I will put my finger under the uh, blue yarn, I grab with my nail the red yarn, take the red yarn out through this loop, like this, and I have created the red border. And again, let's do the same steps, I'll make a forward knot, and a backward knot and I created the outer red line and now to create the inner, the central blue line I will make forward knots so one forward knot the second forward knot one forward knot, the second forward knot, one forward knot, the second forward knot and I brought the yarn forward from this place to this place and now I will create the other red border by creating a backward knot like this and then a forward knot this way so let's make again a forward knot a backward knot and now here on the blue yarns I will be making forward knots and when I get to the red yarn on the right I will make a backward knot and a forward knot and now let's look at the uh, bracelet what it looks like so as you can see basically we have a um, a red line on this side, another red line on this other edge and in the middle we have a blue line and um, if you know how to create candy stripe bracelets you'll realize that in the middle here the blue yarns create the candy stripes only that all the blue yar all the yarns of the candy stripes are in the same color so we do not have the candy stripes we actually have um, parallel lines of blue but basically in the middle we use the technique for the candy stripe bracelet so basically for the middle for the blue line we use the technique for the candy stripe bracelet only that we do not have different colors we use only blue this is how we create the blue line in the middle whereas for the borders we use the technique used for the creation of borders so if you have a bracelet and you want to make borders to your bracelet 
you will use forward and backward knots for the border on the left and backward and forward knots for the border on the right so that the border yarns remain always on the outside they never move on the inside of the bracelet so for the red line you use the border technique for the friendship bracelets whereas for the blue line we are going to use the technique for the candy stripe bracelet only that we use only one color the color blue and now let's continue creating these uh, lines the blue and the red lines until we uh, finish the bracelet and then I will show you how to create the bracelet tie and now that I have reached the end of the bracelet, as you can see, the end of the bracelet is, is not straight like this, it is diagonal. So I will make a few more knots, but not a straight line until the red yarn. So I'll make a forward knot, I'll make a backward knot. like this. I will take the two blue yarns and make one and two forward knots and I'll make one and two forward knots here and I will make another red knot on the side here, forward knot, backward knot this way and now as you can see the bracelet is straight at this end and now I will create the tie of my bracelet so I will take the first three uh, yarns and I will start let's see from a distance twisting them towards the left side, so I'm twisting them in this direction like this now I will take the other yarns and I'll twist them also to the left, so in the same direction And now that I have twisted both yarns in the same direction to the left, I will take the yarns and twist them one around the other, but in the opposite direction to the right. And now I will create a knot at the end of my ties. And now I will cut the end of the tie like this and now the bracelet is ready so as you can see it has two red lines on the sides on the borders and the blue line in the middle and if you are looking at the structures structure of my knots you will notice you will notice that uh, we have uh, the use the border technique 
for the uh, margins of the bracelet for the red margins whereas I um, for the middle part of the bracelet uh, I use the technique that is used for the candy stripe bracelets so I created lines of parallel lines of uh, knots but they are all in the same color as compared to the candy stripe bracelets which are uh, have each line of knots in a different color in this case all these lines parallel lines of knots are blue so we made a blue line in the middle and the red borders and in order to make the red borders all you have to do is keep the red uh, yarns on the sides um, and for that um, in the case of the left yarn you make a forward and a backward knot and this will keep the yarn always on the left side and for the right yarn you will make a backward knot and a forward knot and that will keep the red uh, yarn on the right always on the right side whereas for the loop as you can see I twisted the yarns like this and here I also twisted the yarns and in order to close the bracelet I will open this twisted part like this I will put the tie of the bracelet through this twisted part and as you can see the twisted part will twist again and it will close the knot so that the knot doesn't come out so as you can see this is what the bracelet looks like this is what the, the bracelet looks like on the wrist so this is the bracelet on what it looks like on the wrist And as you can see for this bracelet you need to uh, know two techniques for making uh, friendship bracelets the candy stripe technique and the border technique